All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition. This one says the digital bullpen. Baby talk about the, the Borinconeer. The Borinconeer. We'll see what comes up. I'm supposed to have some guests on. If it happens, great. And if it doesn't happen, well, you know, it is what it is. Kind of getting used to uh, soloing, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I hear this. I hear the sound. I hear the sounds. I hear retreat playing. Well done. So how is everybody doing this wonderful Friday afternoon? Hopefully y'all had a great week. Life was beautiful. Y'all got a lot of things accomplished. Didn't stress out too much about the Ukraine news. It's a hot topic of discussion. And everybody and their mama got an opinion on it. So this piece that I'm working on, I found out the original art. I don't know if Timothy Nelson is the one that drew it or he commissioned it or who his artist is, but that's his Twitter. It's from his book. So make sure you give him some love. If you like the artwork, check him out. Of course, you know. So... You can support a starving artist. I don't know if he's a starving artist, but you know. Here, that's what they say, right? They're all starving artists. see if anybody has joined let me go check out my youtube i don't see anybody on the chat but that doesn't mean that they're not there because sometimes you know oh cross comics is there yep there he is see that's why sometimes i gotta go check on youtube because Cross is over there talking, and it's not showing up on my stream yard. <laughs> oh, there they go. Three comments. Boom. Show ticker. Comments. There you go. Hey, Cross, how you doing, buddy? Shoot. I had the wrong thing open. I was not ignoring you. But Cross seems to know more about it than I do. He's been keeping up with this uh, independent artist more than I have. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Sexy Rick Piper. The Canadian. Stanley. That's good to hear, Rick, that you're doing well. I am doing pretty good myself. 
trying to stay out of the news because, you know, I don't want to hear about more war. I'm done with war. Some people, on the other hand, oh, nice. That's very nice. I stopped doing inter- I stopped doing interview shows a long time ago. Especially when I was trying to get the ones that I wanted to get and they wouldn't come on. I was like, no, man. Why are you breaking my Rican's heart, man? But anyway, I digress. That's good, man. I don't know anything about Melvin. Melvin. A zero. Another. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But if it's been on Rick Piper's show, then he's legit. That's all I'm going to say. The lines I just did are under the device. Okay. Whatever you say, Rick. I'll take your word for it. Uh huh. Okay. Here's the device, right? It's on the floor or wherever it's at. And then you have a hand, right? And you have a shadow being cast from the hand, right? How is the shadow of the hand underneath the device? Yes. Yes. Because if the light is coming from here, if the light is doing this, right? Casting shadows here. Well, actually, it's doing this. And it's casting shadows this way, this way. And this finger is this shadow here, right? Then that means that this, all this should be on top of the device. Does that make sense? There's no way that there should be no shadows on top of that device from the hand. In my opinion, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that's my interpretation. And that's why I didn't think it. No, I'm just kidding. That's my interpretation of the whole situation. But I could be wrong. Sometimes inking gets complicated, man. <laughs> Sometimes the pencilers make mistakes. And that's why inkers are called finishers. 
sometimes we have to look at what was there and interpret it. But you're right, he didn't put any. Those lines, these lines did not exist. But I just, it didn't make sense in my brain how they're, if the fingers are casting a shadow on the ground, how it wouldn't cast a shadow on the device. It just, it just wasn't working in my mind. It was giving me, it was giving me stress. <laughs> but like I said, everybody does things differently. And I think it was just an oversight, honestly. Um, and uh, sometimes it's up to the anchor to um, to catch these things. Unless the device is an uh, unless the device has a light source that's pushing the shadow away, uh, you know. Now we now I don't know about that. I don't know about the story enough to know what's going on. I just saw a cool panel that I could mess up with my inks. And I went for it. See, there you go. It happens. Sometimes you have to. I won't mess around too much with the aesthetic of the image. But if uh, someone wanted to critique the work, they'd be like, yo, why isn't this there? I mean, if there's this, da 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 da. Because you know, people are quick to criticize. Someone does a lot of hard work, and then someone spends all their life picking it apart. It's just the circle of life. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. I know you're watching boxing. I wasn't expecting you to drop by today, but don't forget to smash that like button on your way out, kind of. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm practicing inks today. I'm not working on, on the budding canier yet. Tank was supposed to come on. Um, but the night is early. You never know. He might still pop up. I know you did, bro. Yeah, I like that better. Don't tell the artist. Don't tell the artist, but I kind of like that better. What we got going on here? Okay. So I got the chat. I know the chat is working. So let me turn off the other YouTube on the background. Nope. Booyah. Now, if tanking them continuously blow me off, I'm going to start streaming solo.
That's what's up. That's what's up, Kano. I know I could count on you. Yee, yeah, baby. Whoa, yo. Yeah. Speaking of which, Cross, so you, you, you're inking now? Uh, I see that your uh, inking commission is open. <laughs> Trying to make that money, Rick? I ain't mad at it. Doing Melvin Aspirement to do it. Nice. Welcome to the League of Unemployed Inkers. Well. I'm an unemployed anchor, but it's all good. Tank said he was uh he might have something for me to ink. So we'll see. Unless he gave it to trusty. And if he gave it to trusty, then it's all good. I won't be mad at that. Not in the least bit. Whoa. Who is this, man? Yes, I'm in play, but not a sinker. What's up, Josh? Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? Glad you could make it. Oh, nothing much. What screen am I sharing this one? Yeah. Over there. Let's see. Uh, did you con yet? Say what? Did you go to your con yet? I didn't understand. What you just said? Did you go to the con? Oh, no. That's not until March. Ah. Uh -huh. oh, what you drinking, bud? Uh, beer. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Throne. Damn. Come on, Stas, brother. It's been a long time since Dark Throne been around. I guess since I'm starting to stream more often, people are beginning to show up again. This is a New England style Indian pale ale from Kentucky. How is it New England style from Kentucky? That makes no I don't sense. Know. It's it's amazing though. Yeah, you know I don't know. You know I don't drink, so. Oh, I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. So, ¿Cómo estás, amigo? ¿Todo bien? I haven't seen Doc Crone in forever. Can you still hear me pretty okay? I can hear you good. Is, uh, am I not coming in? No, you're fine. I have a new microphone. Uh, uh -huh. I got myself a Hyper, Hyper something X Series S. And literally the only reason we got it was because it changes colors. 
and my old microphone also had a short in its cable and every cable I was finding for its replacement uh, was uh, about two feet too short for what I needed it. And mm -hmm. so I could never get it replaced. And so my wife was like, well, your blue's having a problem, right? I said, yeah. She's like, well, just go ahead and get this one. You have a ton of Amazon money for Christmas. I was like, oh, I do? She's like, yes, you do. I'm like, I had no idea. Nice. <laughs> so I will get myself a new microphone. <laughs> that is dope. I like that. I like that. That one dice todo bien. Estoy actualizando mi canal. <coughs> Yeah, so he's doing good. He's he's uh, doing his channel again, man. I'm I'm glad you popped in, man. Cause I'm like, yo, these solo streams are killing people. If I'm putting people to sleep, <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude, I'll show you what I, I I let me hold on. Let me let me pull up what I've been working on. Um, so the group Pokemon picture that you see here, it's eleven by seventeen, right? Um, that, that just a little something for the Comic Con. Um, peace, man. Hold on. Uh, I'm working on a new poster here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then where is all the other crap I've been working on? <laughs> I don't see it. Oh, no. Please don't Please don't tell me they're gone. Oh, bro. I, you know that map that I drew? That you yeah. said Dora yeah. would be proud of it? I did that on Krita on another software, and it crashed, and I lost everything. I had to draw that map twice. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Now, hold on, hold on. There's no nudity, no nudity. <laughs> so uh, one of my wife's co-workers, his birthday is coming up soon. And I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is this is a, the before picture. And then <laughs> after picture. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I moved his hand. I did a whole bunch of stuff to it. I never worked with with Photoshop like the doing that stuff for people before. Um, let's see, where is this? One? Oh, before picture, and then where is it? <laughs> After picture. <laughs> I've got tons of these things for him. Oh my gosh, man! <laughs> nice. Uh, so we got apparently Janet Jackson is his girl. So I'm like, all right, I'll see what I can get done. Hey, Janet Jackson is not bad. No. Uh, so, but anyway, yeah, no, it's, uh, I have been just neck deep in D and D stuff, man. I know. I know you've been busy. Well, I mean, this, this the, other, the other thing that happened, too, is I joined another group. That way I could do better for our mutual friends. And uh, so I've been, I've been dealing with that. And then I, I've got another group that started on Sundays as well. So I've joined that group. Right. That way I can, I'm just trying to be a better story storyteller for, for my people. That's all nice. it comes down to. I ain't mad at it. You know me, I'm never upset. Let's see. I need to pull up the reference picture. I was just like, man, if I have to talk by myself this whole time, because what happens is if I go solo, if I know I'm going to go solo, I just use OBS. I could put music in the background. Right. But if I, if, if I think someone's going to join, then I use StreamYard, right? But when I use StreamYard, I can't put music in the background. Just you know, right? And then, then I got to try to talk the whole time, which is usually not a problem because I talk a lot according yeah. to my wife. But that's beside the point. So has anyone has anyone jumped in with you since uh, last time we talked? Um, no, really. My brother on uh, when I streamed on that one Sunday. Okay. And uh, that was it. Been it's been kind of lonely here at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's been lonely at the bottom, but uh, but people are talking about you. No, whatever. And uh, Tank has got a whole project thing going, 
and uh, he's doing some cards and whatnot. And he was like, man, I could sure use uh, the Kopi kid. I doubt that. I doubt that was a conversation. <laughs> that, that was actually that conversation. <laughs> it was like, man, we could use the Kopi kid for some of these uh, projects. And I said, well, he's around. Believe it or not, but he's kind of busy. He's kind of busy, so you have to catch him on his off time. Did I send you that picture that, that our buddy Philip found of mm -mm. My, my cards being sold online again? No. Dude, he found some website that's selling some of the Marvel cards I worked on for one of them went for almost two hundred dollars. And you get none of that. I get none of that. But your name is out there. Yeah, uh, but yeah apparently people are, are wanting them. So I'm just like, good Lord. Really? That's awesome. Your name is out there, kid. Your name is out there. And that's the important part. A new superhero, me man. <laughs> I hear you that Chrome. Yeah, man. So yeah. So I'm still writing little by little on the stories. Nice. Um, I got more than the last thing I sent you is I've added to that already. Nice. Um, some people have some people have read some of it and they seem to like it. I don't think I had anybody read well, trusty read all of them, read everything so far. I need to read it. And uh, he's liking it. And I think I found a way to tie it from 1952 to 2022. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm going to have the story being narrated by another mystery protagonist. And he's going to be narrating the story from 1952. That way, that hero stays um, in the 1952 era. And this guy, he's in the present era. He's telling that story. That'd be cool. It's me gusta los taparrabos que hiciste. Taparrabos. Must be talking to you. No habla español. <laughs> gracias. Dice gracias. Muy bien, muy bien, gracias. <laughs> me llamo is Yashwe. <laughs> you hanging out with me for 18,000 years. Bro, did I tell you I got a PS5? Yeah, you know that. Already. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for them. one. They got them now. I can't find them anywhere. Dude, I just uh, sent a link to John and them. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my wife would my wife would love one. I'm playing God of War now. Nice. Because I finished Spider Man. So, you know, even though people disagree with me about the Miles Morales stories, I think they did a good job on it. Really? So, people disagree? Yeah, they they're still upset about Peter Parker being replaced, but in, in the video game he doesn't replace Peter Parker, he works alongside Peter Parker. I mean, so, I, I I played I played it whenever I was on PS Five. I'm sorry, PS Four. Yeah, I enjoy I enjoyed the game. I thought it was good. I thought it was well done. KG in the house, the mighty mighty wrench. K to the G. I mean, you know what? I, I I'm just as you and I have discussed several times. I'm just done with that shit, man. Yeah. Sorry, my language. I'm just done with it. You know what? It's okay. Miles Morales is a is a pretty good character. Well, he's Again, not a, he's, he's not a re, he's not a Spider Man replacement. It's just in that universe, you know. It's it's it, it works. It works. If they haven't played the game, they don't understand how they did that story. Yeah. Man, I'm glad you caught us today, KG. Man, uh, I'm happy. I'm super happy. I'm beyond happy. I'm extremely happy. Uh, while Josh is working, if uh, someone, if if you want to hear <laughs> some of the story, KG, I, I'll read it to you. Of the Boringanier, I got a little bit. I got like six pages. 
six six pages yeah six pages oh chris josh who? i was gonna say who josh yes i've added so i did some more research right mm -hmm. and um you remember i don't know if you know uh, the navajo code talkers yeah well they were in action around 1946. really so they're young enough if they enter the marines at a young enough age they're still at a viable age at 1952 to be part of the story nice so i'm adding a navajo code talker to the story as, as a marine who's going to be a comms expert because that's what the navajo code talkers did they were right. comms guys and i also found out that around the same time uh, there was an all-black airborne unit called the Triple Nickels that nope. that that were around that era mm -hmm. that are viable enough that if they entered at a young enough age, they'd still be at a, at a viable age in 1952 to be part of the team. So I've now added a team of um, a black paratrooper, a Navajo cold talker, and a Borinquen Air for Puerto Rico. And they're all units that were that were completely <coughs> segregated <coughs> in their time. So, what do you think about that? No, uh, dude, that's awesome. And you like it? Yeah. So, I'm making a joke in the comic. The joke is that the guy, the the Mr. Kane is the character's name. The guy mm -hmm. who's putting teams together and recruiting. That he's very unoriginal. So he names uh the 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 paratrooper. Nichols from trip. So instead of naming him Triple Nichols, because there's not three of them, he just names them Nichols. His code name is Nichols. Mm -hmm. And the Navajo code talker, his code name is Navajo. And of course, our guy's code name is Buddy Engineer, because that was his unit name, but they were engineers. And the joke is, dude, Mr. Kane is so unoriginal. Every single time they, that he says something, he's like, dude, do you not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. KG, we uh, we're gonna get it together. So uh, once, so I want. I'm talking to Trust here to do the pencils. I want to do the inks, uh, and then um, I think I want. I don't know if Josh is still interested in doing the colors. I mean, I'll always help you. You know, and then you and KG and can can work out because KG did the flats for um, for um, Skunk Girl. That way, you're not overwhelmed. You know, doing everything. So I just kind of wanted it to be like a whole, like touch as many people from the digital bullpen as I can. And, uh, you know, as long as the money stretches. My money, that is. Because this is it's not going to be a campaign. It's just going to be me putting it out. I am disappointed, though, that Amazon is dropping Comixology because um, of some legal issues. So now I have to find a different way to... Um, Get it to the people. Mm. <clears throat> so I don't know. If I, I guess know. you could technically put it on Kickstarter, and then hold on, just, let, just put it on Kickstarter, and just put it as the only tier, and I already say like the first person it's fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do that, you know. I know, I know you didn't, but that'd be a way to do it. Or you just, you know, you just. Other side of the way you want to. Hell, uh, I could just take it with me to Comic Cons too. <laughs> yeah, that and that's cool. another way you take it to Comic Cons, man. I wasn't gonna print it. I was just gonna sell it digitally. You know, that was the whole thing. Like I was gonna cut costs by just publishing it digitally to like Comicsology or something like that. <sighs> so I might have to do prints. And if that, we'll find a way to do both. Oh man, I'm, I'm I only got so much money, Josh. I only got so much money. Damn it. Yeah, and you make a shitload of it, so I do. But I got a freaking two year old daughter that's in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Don't get mad. I got two kids. All right, I got two kids that are young, and I got one. It, my son just got into rock climbing, so that's got going to cost me a fortune. Yep. But well, we'll see. We'll work it out. I mean, if I have to, then I'll just we'll get it done. We'll get it colored. We'll get it lettered. I had to find a letterer. I don't know shit about lettering. Yeah, I can't help you with that one. 
and since the story is going to be mostly um, narrated by the by the mystery guy in 2022, recounting the story of the guy in 1952, it's not going to be a lot of talking bubbles, you know what I mean? Yeah. It'll be interesting. What you drawing there, man? Uh, D&D stuff. <laughs> Oh, D&D stuff. I think you yeah. said indie stuff. I was like, what no. No, D&D stuff. This is from that uh, Amazon cartoon series, the Vox Machina. If you haven't watched it, you, you, you definitely need to. I have not watched it, but it I will is, look into it. It is so freaking good. Not for kids. <laughs> and I can't watch it, man. I'm not for kidding. kids at all, man. It's just uh, Right off the episode one, I was like, what? <laughs> not for kids. Yeah. Yeah, but KG definitely I will DM you when we're ready. When we're ready. Um, I just uh Trusty is still doing some other stuff. And when he's finished with that, because Trusty has read everything um so far. When he's finished with that, then I think he's gonna start um shit. The only thing I've done for the buddy Kinnear is <laughs> That map. Yeah. That's it. I do have a sketch. Uh, no, actually, I got. Do I got this? Let's see. This will open. I do have this concept for the opening um, for one of the panels, but it's not a full, it's not a finished thing. It's not, this is not going to be in it, but. This is a concept of uh oh let me put myself on. Sorry. You're let fine. Me, let me uh so I got this concept. And this is not a finished sketch. It's just like a concept for like one of the panels. Um because it happens during the Korean War. So these are our guys about to get their butts kicked by the Chinese. They don't know it yet. But that's what's gonna happen because that's what happened in history, and this is somewhat historical, but not completely. Let's say it's got some history and some mystery. I think that's what I got right there. Do I have anything else on tap? File, recent. Nope. 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 Uh, let's see if I got anything. This should be on the untitled. Uh, then I got the map, right? Uh, but I don't think I see the finished one. Is that the finished one? Yeah, that's the finished one. So the only thing I gotta find for this one, that's the map, the map is done, is I gotta find some nice red font that says Korea 1952. And uh, it took me forever to do this map because of course, like I said, it uh, I had to do it twice. But that's the only thing I have. I was gonna do some rough drafts. I do have, uh, I do have, do I have it? I have a sketch of something that I do want to try. Um, let me see if I can download it and find it. And file new. Uh, sure, why not? Let's do an illustration. Okay. Edit, paste. All right. And let's do uh, edit transform. I'm talking to myself because I'm older. That's what we do. You're fine. Uh, 
So let me go back out of here and escape out of there. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. Edit. Transform. Scale. Okay. Let me close out of that, go back to StreamYard. So then I have this concept drawing for the guy that's going to be narrating the story. And that about as far as I got. OK. And I sketched this at work when I was actually supposed to be working, so. <laughs> oh, the baby woke up. Wife's gonna be mad. I'm gonna get the blame. Even though I've been talking really low. Did you say the baby just woke up? Yeah, she she was in bed, but she woke up and she's crying. I hear her. Here she goes down the hall. Give me one second, man. I'll be right back. Take it down. Sweet. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. The baby yeah. woke up crying. <sighs> you know how it is when you got youngins. Yep, yep. This is why I can't get anything done. I mean, not during the week anyway. Like, I don't get to draw. So how's uh, New, New Jersey? Uh, it's all right. I don't really, I don't really dig it like I did North Carolina. <laughs> I don't think I like any state right now like I did North Carolina. Oh yeah. So far. But then again, it's been super cold. I don't, I don't get to live in Hawaii like KG. 
and enjoyed island weather. It's good though. Um, it's been cold. It's all right. Still learning the lay of the land, trying to figure out places to go and eat and, you know, stuff like that. Man, it's too bad you're not around here, man. I can take you to a barbecue place I absolutely love. Yeah, they opened up a mission barbecue here, so that was a plus. <laughs> I still have yet to try that. Well, you know, that's uh, it's good. It'll it'll do in a pinch. Now, before I left uh, Washington, they opened up a Hawaiian barbecue spot. Oh yeah, and that was okay. That was pretty good. It was a chain restaurant, though. It wasn't like. A mom and pop place. I like the mom and pop places better. Yeah, this this place is called Martin's Barbecue. And I think there's only three locations. I might be wrong. They start off in Tennessee and now they're they got two in Kentucky. Oh yeah. Dude, it's amazing. That's nice. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, KG. N and L. L and L. That's the one they opened up in Washington. Yeah, it was okay for a chain restaurant. I mean, it was different food for sure. Better than what we was eating. Washington food sucks. Uh oh. Uh oh. What was that? Text message. <laughs> yeah, KG guessed it. L and L. Now, KG is about to tell me how horrible L and L is in Hawaii, which it probably is. But in Washington, that's all we had. L and L. That's the place. That's the place, KG. Yeah, no, I've been yeah, but I've been streaming pretty much solo the last few times out. But you know, like I said, if I want to get the story out and want to talk about the beat but in Ganea, or BQ as I call it for short, then I gotta start doing it. And I was gonna eventually start doing breakdowns of it. But like I said, because <laughs> I wanted to start storyboarding it, but I don't know if that's a good idea. It might help you get, keep your train of thought with it. Yeah. But that's just more time. That I don't have. <laughs> like I don't really. I barely have time to write. I write like maybe two or three sentences a day. What are you doing the rest of your time, Jimmy? You know what I'm doing. Going to work. Taking care of the baby. Fighting with the wife. That no, that. There's no excuses. You know. Get up at four o'clock in the morning. So I can get it. so my wife can help get the baby ready, take her to daycare. It's my life, dude. My wife does most of the work, honestly, but let's go to sleep so I can get up early so we can deal with the baby. That's my life. That's what I do with my time now. <laughs> if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I might get to play 45 minutes of uh, God of War. And then back to dealing with the baby. It'll get better. She's what? Almost, almost two? Two, yeah. Yeah. 
this year you'll probably see some changes. Hopefully. As that little terrorist. Someone at work was like, "Hey, do you, hey, hey Ortiz, you, uh, you, Jimmy, you, you, you have any dogs?" I was like, "No, why not?" I said, "I got a baby, and she's a terrorist." <laughs> oh my gosh! So I was like, "What?" I said, "Yeah, most people think their babies are adorable. Mine's just a terrorist." Speaking of terrorists, how do you think about the Russian stuff going on? <laughs> I try not to. So, yeah. I've, I've kept up with a lot of it. Like, I, I should have been working on Thursday, but I was I was watching too too much stuff about it, trying to learn more about it, what was, you know, what the real reason was. Is there a real reason? Uh, he's insane, and I think he wants the original Soviet Union back together. There's never a reason for war. There's somebody cray cray. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, all I all I know about it is that the Ukrainian government is handing out weapons to all the families that are old enough to have weapons. Yep. <laughs> they're like, if you want it, come get it. Yeah, they're not playing. Shoot, even Klitschko. I don't know if you know, there's a boxer. That was a heavyweight champ, Vitaly yeah, Klitschko. I saw that there was uh, some some Olympic. There was some boxers. There's two boxers. Yeah, they're both brothers. Yeah. And then uh, I forget. That's I saw something else. And then I saw read a story of a, a husband and wife on their first day of marriage were getting weapons to go fight. I was like, dang, that's some dedication right there. Yeah, something you won't see in the U.S. People over here are too damn divided. Maybe they need Russia to come invade over here to get this country together. Snake Rick. What's going on, brother? Thanks for dropping by. You come in at a time, Snake Rick, where I actually got people on. I got the magnificent Josh Chris. Good Lord. I was on the actual panel drawing right now. I'm just doing what I do. Thank you for dropping by, man. Appreciate you, brother. You kill me. Hey, Slick Rake is one of my brother's YouTube uh, subscribers on his boxing channel. Nice. Uh, just press the button. Oh, I'm good. Oh, it he was here last week too, brother. Did I not talk to you? Did I? My apologies, man. If I did not say hello to you last week. Yeah. Yeah. And you was definitely on. Then you were here. Me and Kendall was was going crazy. Yeah, he's from my brother's YouTube channel, man. I, some some people show me a little bit of love, man. You know. Again, my views are going up again. I'm just Good. not getting any subs. I do more than once a week. I know, man, but I can't. I know. I'm, I understand. I'm, I'm just. I'm picking with you. I'm not really like you know. Jimmy you should do better. You know. I wish, but I can't. <laughs> like I said, my wife would kill me. She already mad at me. As it is. What'd you do? I try to make time to get this crap done. <laughs> Uh, put everything on Iggy. All right, now I gotta write the story. So then I put everybody on hold. And of course, she's a woman and she has a right to be upset because women don't like to be put on hold. But if I wanna write this story, sometimes I just gotta put everything on hold and write. So she's supportive of you, but you need to find a different time to do it. Yeah. Uh, I get you. Same thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Heck yeah. Like, my wife the other day was like, you need to draw more. I'm like, with what time? I was like, so, I'm, not give, I'm not giving up D&D because that, that's, that's, that's me time. It's right. Nice. 
that's 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 something to, to, that it's cr more creative juices but you know it's it's you know what, what with what time i'm, I'm cleaning i'm cooking I'm to care to get the damn kids so yeah yeah i cook but i don't so i'm telling you tay tay been doing most of that most of the care for the baby <laughs> But on the flip side of the argument, things have changed here in the past few weeks. So but better, I hope. Yeah, yeah. The wife's hours have gotten a lot better, so it's a lot less stress on me. You know, she's able to actually help with some chores and stuff, so I can actually, I can actually feel like I can relax a little bit uh, without, you know, feeling like at the end of the day, going, "Son of a bitch, I didn't do my chores," you know. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. And now, you know, we've put a rule in with the kids. They want to play tablets. They want to do electronics. Well, you got to help mommy and daddy with chores. And you know what? I should have been doing that for the past two years. It has been me kicking and screaming trying to get them to do shit. And, like, I've done this threat with them before. But I don't know. It finally clicked with them with my wife also backing me up with it, too. And so they get home and they're like, so what chores are we going to do, daddy? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far, man. I'm still working. Well, <laughs> what chores? What chores we got to do, buddy? I don't know. You know what? Just look. Just look. Do you see anything out of place? And just put that up. And then, I mean, they'll just speed run. <laughs> Done. It's like, Daddy, can we play Switch now? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, look. How about this? You can go play your stuff until Mommy gets home. And if Mommy's got more chores, you immediately have to put it down and go do whatever she wants if you want to continue playing. And there was one night my son did not do anything. And so I was like, well, I guess you ain't playing nothing, are you? I was like, I guess I'm not. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, you just sit up your room and just be quiet then because, yeah, I got stuff to do. Yeah. We're, um... Oh, well, that's good sleep break, man. I don't, I don't like because I, I feel like if you were typing and I didn't, and I didn't address you. I feel rude. And I hate being rude to people to come to the channel and check us out. Be um, rude. Be rude to him all day. I'm Slick Rick, rude. just get on him. No, Slick Rick, you be rude on him. Just get on him. I'm, I'm not rude to people, man. I, I leave that to my brother on his channel. <laughs> Boxing people are crazy, bro. Boxing channels, they, I, think, I think they live for the drama. My brother loves that crap. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, Tank said he was going to join us tonight because he was going to do our about engineer piece. But, oh, yeah? Yeah. But um, yeah, that's what he said on his last stream. He's like, oh, Friday, I'm, uh, I'm going to join E on his stream and we're going to do a Borinkanir piece. I was like, oh, we, we are? <laughs> Okay. Where are you, Tank? Like, uh, I didn't know we were doing that, but, you know, thanks for letting me know. He did ask for some stuff. <clears throat> oh, good. For some reference material. But like I said, man, I'm not trying to do a damn Indigo for my story, man. I just... Well, I write mean, it. but you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying, you know, to, 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 I have to meet this to do it. I'm saying like, just, it's already met. You're just giving people, people say, okay, 20 bucks, they get it. Uh, well, for 20 or, bucks. Or, or, though, whatever. I'm just, I don't no, know how much, I don't know how much it is. You know, I'm just devil's advocate, man. No, no. I think the, the thing is, I would just want to do like a regular size floppy, right? For the first story. What's that, like 24 pages? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Slick Rick said, that's smart. I'm going to try that with my daughter, what you was talking about. Yeah, seriously. I mean, it, my four-year-old's doing it now. I mean, she wants she wants to play anything. She's like, Daddy, what, what chores I got to do? I'm like, where the heck did this come from? 
and I think it's because my wife put the fear into him because, you know, daddy just, you know, they're like, daddy's just going to beat me. I'm like, daddy doesn't want to beat you. But if you don't do something, daddy will spank you. Um, but, you know, now the wife is is more at home and stuff. And so they're like, okay, well, okay, we got to get done. Mommy says so. I'm like, God dang. It's funny how they do that, right? Yeah. Roblox taking over my kids. Uh, mine is my daughter has found YouTube for kids, and I hate it. Hate yeah. it, but is she watching um, Blippy. I don't know what she's watching, man. I, I can't, I can't stand it. some of it. Are catchy songs, and even I'll start singing them like "Son of a Bitch." Where did this song come from? And then, um, and then I know it's from her. But uh, my son is neck deep in the Subnautica and Subnautica too, and he absolutely loves that game. And I, I've already, you know, I've almost beaten the game, but. I put it down for so long, I don't remember the game very much. And so he'll be like trying to ask me questions like, dude, I don't know. You have to go look it up. I don't know. Well, how don't you know? Because I forgot that I'm old. <laughs> I'm not going to remember that. The game did not impress me that much. So it didn't, didn't leave a mark on me. Okay. So they just say, kind of speak the real boxing is all drama. Yeah, no, my, I know my brother better than anybody. Trust me. I know my brother better than everybody. He love all that stuff. He got on somebody today. I was like, damn, dude. I just be ignoring people. Like, oh, you don't like what I'm doing? Okay. Still young. Good Lord. I turned 40 this year. I do not feel young. He's young. Like, compared to KG, you know, KG is the OG OG. No. KG is the, KG older than me. KG older than me and Manny. And you know oh, Manny. Really? You know Manny is old. But you know, even KG is a young man. Let me see. Hammaker Bowden is a bot. Let me see. I, I guess I got to get on YouTube and. Erase that bot. Woohoo! More porn. Damn it! Where's the bot at? I think just. I think. Uh, I think uh, KG already got him. All right. Thanks, KG. No, no porn for me. Now nah, them Russian bots be everywhere, dude. They're everywhere. That's the thing, right? Because now, um, with everything that's going on, yeah, now the biggest the biggest thing that they're preaching in, my, in in our community is the cyber threat from uh from Russia. Uh, I read I read anom anonymous is going after them now. After the Russians? Yep. Well, they done messed up then. Yeah, I, I kind of said the same thing, chuckling, going, what are they going to do? And then I was like, well, it's freaking anonymous. They, I don't know how they do it, but they do it. <laughs> yeah, anonymous is uh, So anonymous has got like, like some really good guys that know what they're doing. And then the rest are like script kiddies that the good guys give the scripts to to run. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. So that's how that happens. I don't, you know, anonymous. If you're out there listening, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I don't know anything about you guys. Let me switch from this box to my Linux box before you start attacking me. Uh, nothing but respect. Nothing but respect for them, especially they're going after those guys. Cause, uh, yeah, because I don't got time for this. Yeah, but I haven't really been paying attention. I try not to uh, pay attention. I guess, um, you know, I don't, a lot of people are ignorant when they speak about this stuff. And and I try to watch the news on it and they, and they turn it straight political. Well, the Republicans, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so my only thing was this. I thought it was really neat that he got Chernobyl. And I was like, you know what? He's insane. And everyone, everyone argues with me. Oh, that's stupid. Really? Is it stupid? He's holding a bomb. Basically. 
and you piss him off enough, Putin might just be like, you know what? I can't have it. Nobody can. He's crazy enough. He might do something like that one day when he's like, okay, I'm done with office. All right, cool. Uh, I just flipped this little red switch. What's that do? Uh, you'll find out about half an hour. Yeah, he took that. But I don't think he's going to take Ukraine as easily as he thought. No, I'm really surprised by the by the by the spirit and the fight of those Ukrainian people, man. I am really surprised. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, we're giving them sanctions. Okay, cool. I don't know exactly what it's going to do, but hurt them. They say it like that. They, 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 they said it like this: um, If Russia goes, uh, you know, um, if they do that thing, um, the thing, you know, the thing. If they do the thing, then uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the thing, the sanctions, and it's gonna be um, strict sanctions. But but we have to keep them from you know the thing, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a speech. That was me making fun of uh, of old boy because you know he can't speak. No, but yeah, I was just like, okay, sanctions. All right, cool. All right, the UN has failed Ukraine. And that's basically what it boils down to. And uh, now I'm beginning to think that the former president was right in pulling out, pulling out of the UN. Tank Ferret, did what? you hear us talk bad about you? Uh, no, but uh, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> well. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? We're here. Awesome. I, I just got back doing some father-daughter time, kind of shooting the breeze. Oh, yeah. That's good. How, is that is that with your um, daughter that was in the hospital? No, the other one. The daughter that was in the hospital, she's fine. She's kind of just chilling on the couch recovering. Yay, what's up, KG? Yeah, KG, we got the infamous uh, Kopi kid in the house. Oh, man, we were missing you last night. I told him he didn't Last believe night. me. Oh, is this this is, your, this is your all's talk about the cards or whatever? Uh, no, no, we were we were just there was a lot of dog stars in the house. And, oh yeah, uh, yeah. We're like, man, well, we're just missing a couple of people. And then we cried about Manny. <laughs> Manny delicious. Manny, come back. You've been away too long. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Josh that uh, little by little we're getting, you know, we, we we're picking up a little bit of traction on on this channel over here. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Let me take my banner down because Josh is drawing, not me. I'm not in the front and center anymore. Oh, you don't have to worry about, it, dude. I'm just trying to. Do some rough sketches, figure out these characters. No, I was just trying to give credit to the original art that I that I'm over here killing with my inks. You know, how <laughs> I do. although I I think I think personally that it it looks a little bit better. <laughs> well, it, that's that's the game to play, right? But but I'm biased. But I'm biased. That's that's fair. That's fair. I'm biased because, I mean. So let's take. So let's put me back on front street. Speaking of old times, do you all remember that guy from Australia that Manny used to team up with here and there? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought about him the other day. Risey still around? It depends on what time of day you catch him. You might catch Risey or other Risey. Yeah, he's he can get hangry. So see, this is this is what what I took from Twitter. Right. Uh huh. Very nice line work. Oh yeah, I saw that picture earlier today. Yeah, yeah. And then this is what I did. Yeah, I think it looks good, man. Do you come a long, long, long way? So I think, I think, um, I think it looks better. I mean, I could do more to it, but so I think because you know it went from. Hair that's very nicely drawn to hair that has volume. Mm -hmm. 
I think. I think I'm biased. I'm biased. I, well, I'll confirm your bias and say that it is good. I do like it. You know. And uh, then uh, we had uh, over here. I don't know what they were thinking about. So over here, you see the hand. Uh huh. Why, why did the shadow stop? <laughs> right. A around, around that. Right. And uh, so I figured, you know, why not we just draw some shadow across it? Nice. See, that's what a good inker does too. Is picks up on that stuff that the penciler left behind. And I was like, let's let me draw a little bit of shading. I won't go so crazy on it, you know. But but it's it's no way that the device that's under the hand, with the way the lighting is going, that there's no shadow on that device. Yeah, because if it was luminous, it would be canceling out some of the shadow near it, so the shadows wouldn't touch it. Right. So but I don't know enough about the piece to know if that's the case. Well, it's it's on the penciler at that point. Right. Thanks, KG, man. I appreciate it. I've been practicing. I think I'm at a point where I'm good enough that if Trusty does the pencils, that I'm not going to mess up my own book. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm confident now. I'm real confident. I think that I... Oh. And I finally bought a display tablet because you know my other one busticated. Uh. So now I'm rocking a display tablet again. I was nice. using I was using a pen tablet, but I only got a 16 inch display tablet. I didn't go all out. I don't have a lot of room in this house. So I can't put another 22 or 24 like I had before. I I, I absolutely understand. I has zero room, but but I did splurge, and I wound up getting a Wacom. So there's that. And it's uh, freaking nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's way nicer than the last one that I had. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, man. I, I did it again. What you do, bud? Oh, I, I combined... I could find Let stuff me. where I shouldn't have combined. Let me see how we're going to add everybody in here. Here we go. Now yeah, we're missing yang, yang. this one. All right. Let me see. We change the layout. We don't want to change the layout like that. Uh, shift four. Let's see what happens if I hit shift four. Okay, I don't want it like that because then y'all can't see what they're doing. Uh, like That's... that, but I can't see what Tank is doing. No, it's okay. I'm doing admin right now. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> All um... right, so we'll do it like that, I guess. What happens if I do this? That we put Josh in the forefront. He's drawing an L for something. Pointy ears, or that, or is that Mr. Spock? It is an L. I'm just messing. <laughs> I, I know I was an elf, but I wanted to make a funny that fell flat. <clears throat> but I digress. Oh, I digress. Gotta go into page settings. Turn off the time lapse. Then split the pages and then turn on time lapse for everything. I'm going to see if I can find a high speed way to do this in one stroke. So maybe. And nope. It said no. It's being a bastard. Usually is. Yeah, you know what, KG? It's never too late. It's never too late. It's true. I'm st I'm still trying to t learn how to draw. I'm not at a point yet where I can uh, do what I want to do, but you know, but you know, you know. Uh, uh, uh. 
I'm, I'm getting there. Like I was telling Josh, I got this little idea for one of the panels and then got the map and then I got this idea for uh, a possible character design that I, oh, sketched yeah, yeah. Out on, I sketched out on a piece of paper at work. <laughs> hey, man. I'm one of those guys that I leave napped in drawings because I've and uh, it's usually just me practicing a technique. And I was like, ah, but everybody at work loved it. They're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Cool. Riser Man is prepped. Riser Man workspace is just about prepped. Um, yeah, but Risey, Risey, depending on what day you catch him, that dude could be a menace. <laughs> uh, it's true. He's a good guy, and I love him to death. But uh, I was I watched the stream, the one that got you that strike. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, it's, like, it's... I was like, what is going on? Yeah, yeah. Now, um, yeah. What the heck? Oh, that's weird. Oh, but you know your boy, uh, um, Greg, Greg doesn't help the situation either. Nope. Nope. A lot of six-letter fighting words coming out of them mouths. That's that's just what I've decided to put it as. It's like, it's like, why is it a bad word? Well, because it's fighting words, man. That's why. It's 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 not that it's like like censorship or anything weird like that. It's like, dude. <laughs> Polite, tact. These these are, are words that folks should get a little more familiar with. Well, that's a problem. Some people don't believe in that. So here's the problem, yeah. right? Something that I that I that I was gonna talk to you about. You're a martial arts instructor, right? Uh-huh. You don't talk tough because you know you're tough. You don't talk trash because you know the damage you could do if you get into a fight. That doesn't mean you're weak. It just means that you know, you yeah. know, the, the chaos and the destruction that can happen if you have if you're forced to fight. Like I know that if I'm forced to fight, there's gonna be a lot of chaos and destruction. So so when people say, Oh, he's just too nice, that da, 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 da. no, I just know. <laughs> like you already know else. where the line is drawn. Yeah, like like Tank knows, I know, you know, and I don't need to talk tough. I know what I am. I don't need to confirm it. You know what I'm saying? So so that's why I'd be laughing at them like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like obviously you have not had your head smashed in. <laughs> right. Thou hast not suffered concussions enough me think <laughs> no i have that's for uh right yeah no I, I mean that's often like when you wait a minute get these it is keyboard. a full digital what? bullpen now what holy moly it's trusty hey trusty i heard that dude picked you up for some work yes yes that was oh. nice thank you so much oh you're very welcome man anytime i can point people to good services dude and that's a great project to be a part of, too. I, I tell you what, he showed me some of the artwork for that project, and it looks really good. Oh, it's smokingly good. I'm really, really looking forward to Paladin Dragoon, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, here, I got a piece that I'm working on right now uh, that I'm showing here. Uh, that, Hold on. Uh, let, that me, uh, let me uh, big a fight. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Make me big. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always have Rita Repulsa like in my head. <laughs> Make him growl. <laughs> Let me bigify you, and there you go. There we go. Yeah. So this is one I'm working on. I can uh, show off the blue line on this. Was this three or four? This is four or four. But uh, yeah, there's the blue line there behind. It. I'll get rid of the blue line so you can actually see the sketch. It's going to be coming out of a canyon. The, the dragon and the rider with his Winchester. Very nice. Very nice. 
Thank you. And I've got this other one I'm working on for a project called Zep. Uh, oh yeah, I remember you you started sketching that on your stream the other night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I've got uh, another one I just finished. I just finished for a client for King Leak, and uh, we're gonna be talking. Uh, oh geez, I've, I just re remembered I gotta hit him up because uh, we're supposed to talk some shop and uh, see what I can bring to the project because I got this one done and he really really liked it. Nice. Yeah, that that looks sweet. Thank you. Yeah, she's pretty delicious. There, she's some, pretty some nice guys. assets on that drawing. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, in between time, I gotta hurry. I gotta hustle uh, and get some uh, work done for for the the Cromniverse. Enter the Cromniverse. I got my little story going on over there, and then. I've got to make time to get work done on this because, like I was saying, as soon as that uh, that that comic that I've been handing out, the little ash can, as soon as that's a full blown preview, uh, that's when I'm launching the campaign because that means that uh, everything's broken down, and I just need to go over and, and ink it, and that gives me it'll be done before the end of the campaign. Uh, that's the production schedule on that, but. In the meantime, and in between time, I got bills to pay. Mm -hmm. The medical yeah, industrial complex is expensive. Yeah, tell me about it. I got a thirty-two thousand dollar bill. I got to pay to the hospital. Holy smokes! Man. It's okay. It's okay. It'll it'll yeah. all get get shared. You know, as part of the health sharing ministry I'm in. It's just gonna take a little while. Yeah. That, <sighs> this is why I say, hey, it's a it's an election year, folks. Vote them out of office. <laughs> <laughs> I, what party? Yeah, I don't care. Just vote them out. They haven't done anything good. <laughs> Not my representative. I like him. He's a good guy. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, if you got a good one, then... Well, one among many. <laughs> it's the exception to the rule these days. I keep trying to get one elected. Uh, I like Earl Weber. Here, California. He's running for California district. He's running against mm -hmm. uh, one of the nasty, one of the nasty, nasty uh, Dems who uh, represents Inglewood, right? Which is, you know, like we probably know that from rap culture. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. He says vote guns. Vote with guns. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't vote with the guns. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, you just, uh, you know, she's one of those those types that, you know, oh, I'm for all for the poor, but she lives in the rich neighborhood that technically is in her district because of the latest restructuring of her district. <laughs> so, like a little shady, a little shady, a little slim shady. Yeah, vote them out, kick them to the curb, fire them. Oh, I think I'm done. I'm almost done with this whole page. Yeah. That looks pretty, pretty good. That's from awesome. Here, e. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. I was telling Tank before you jumped on that I've been practicing enough where I feel confident that when you do the pencils and I do the inks, that that I'm not gonna mess up the book. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, and Trusty has read all the pages that I've written, so. Trusty's excited. That means yeah. that I'll do it. <laughs> I've done something good. Yeah, I told Jimmy, I said, as I'm reading it, I'm seeing the pages in my head. That's always a good sign. So, I'm excited about the, that. The problem is I just, I, I can never, quite, you know, they look so good in my head, but when I get them on paper, they're like, eh, that's not quite as good as you imagined it. It'll, it'll work out. It'll work out. So I don't know. I don't know if you read up to the point where I added the new team members. Uh, no. So I, I was telling. So, okay. So I was talking to Josh about it. I'm sorry, Josh. You got to hear this all over again. You're hey, fine, Josh. Buddy. Yeah, buddy. What's up, man? Hey, Josh. Damn, I was wondering what? who It's-A Me is. <laughs> It's-A Me. You never Josh know. You. Yeah, I feel sorry that Josh has to hear this again. So I was doing some right. research because, you know, some of this is historically based, right? Right. So there was a um, airborne unit that was an all 
um, black airborne unit called the Triple Nickels, and they were in um, they were in action around 1946. So, and then they got disbanded. But if he joined the army, 18, 20, you know, six, eight, 10 years, that puts you at 30, still viable, you know, still viable to be part of the, the fighting team. And then the Navajo Code Talkers, right? They right. were also around 1946, 47, um, 42, I'm sorry, 1942 which puts them at, again, within a 10-year grace period, that if they joined, joined in long, young enough in 1952, they're still viable fighters. So I've added two, uh, so I've added a, uh, I've added a paratrooper from the Triple Nickels, and, and uh, the joke in the comic book is going to be Mr. Kane, who's, who's the guy that keeps recruiting them, that he's very unoriginal. So he, he names them like from their unit, like, all right. So the, this guy came for the triple nickels. So his, nope. we, I just call him. So his code name is just nickels. I did read know? that part. Okay. You read that. I did you, read that. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. So then, I don't know uh, why I thought there were, you were like adding more beyond that. Part. No, no, just okay. that. I'm not going to, okay. I'm not going to kill you. Cause I know the more team, the we're more not going to have like a dirty dozen. No. Hello, okay. Paolo Romero art. Um, no, we're going to have Daniel. Team need, right? Tank, tank. You're you're in the book, by the way. Tank. Mm -hmm. all, right, all right, all right, all right. You know, uh, a wiry, a wiry uh, Irish uh, ginger. Um, Sweet, I could be skinny again. I yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> you got Daniel, the team lead, tank, the ginger. You got Nickel, uh, the black airborne trooper. You got Navajo, the comms expert, and the boarding engineer, who's the infantry guy. So. That's the team. That's the team. I love it. And um, so they're all from segregated units except Tank. Tank is just crazy, and he just wanted to be part of the team. So that's usually me. So that's where, that's where he fits in, you know. And uh, so so that's the team. So I figured now I'm drawing from three different segregated units to make it into one team. And uh, draw from different parts of history to bring it into one. So that's the that's the theory thus far. Nice. So right now at the story, the only thing I'm, I'm writing at this part of the story is artists draw me panels of hand to hand combat. You know, range uh, target. You know, practicing with the range uh, with with a. Uh, pistols and long guns and then I had this crazy idea to be super stereotypical but I'm Puerto Rican so I should be able to pull this off and have <laughs> my character do dual wield machetes. So Sweet. instead of like instead of like a sword or a, a katana or size or his his bladed weapons are gonna be two machetes. Which they're big in Puerto Rican culture because we used to cut cane and we used to cut, you know, oh, yeah, planting okay. trees and stuff like that. So there was an everyday tool in Puerto Rico. Yeah, my, so, my son's got one that he keeps in the car with him. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the idea for him for his uh for his weaponry. And then I get with I had to figure out something for uh for Nichols and then I have to figure something out for Navajo. And of course, um so for the boarding engineer, you know his logo is is the is the unit crest, which is the the white iron cross on the back on a black background. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about, and I'll find you some references, trusty. Using the the unit patches for each of the other segregated units, like the Navajo talk, code talker patch, it'll be his logo, mm -hmm. and um, the triple nickels uh, airborne patch will be nickels. Um, logo, so I don't know, kind of like a little call back to military history. Well, all yeah, right, and, all right. and you know, any anything, anything that you can give me, you know, as far as your ideas for character design, you know, how you want them to look, will help because that is like my weak point is gonna, designing characters. We're gonna get you a lot of references. <laughs> okay. 
where you're gonna get your lot of references. So don't don't worry. Before before you when you're done with everything you gotta do and we can focus 100 percent we'll start meeting regularly as regularly as I'm allowed to. And uh we'll start working all that stuff out. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry I couldn't uh I couldn't join you earlier. Uh, you sent the link right the same time I got the link for the bad comic book reading. Oh, that's and ten, tonight we read uh, the first issue of uh, Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, that was fun. <laughs> nice. I used to be a big fan of Heroes for Hire. I had like almost all those Power Man and Iron Fist mm -hmm, mm -hmm. books. Yeah, well, yeah. when when we call it bad comic book reading, we're not kidding. <laughs> so. Well, gentlemen, I have to get running. I've got to meet with a client before I do a short broadcast updating everybody what's going on this weekend. Uh, CromCon is what's going on this weekend. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Over in the Comic Related Madness Network. Uh it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're doing something special this CromCon. Uh, and it's top secret. It's top secret. I've been sworn to pop swore me to secrecy on this. Um, so uh, you're just going to have to come by and come check it out. But it's it's something really cool. Something that really binds the, the indie comic community together. So that's going to be some good stuff. And that's uh, starting tomorrow at noon Eastern. Over on. Yep. I will see you there. Where, where is that? Brain cage. <clears throat> no, no. That's on the comic. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the comics. Comics talk with Pop Van Zant is the name of the channel. I'm going to okay. drop a link down in the chat. Yeah. By, by 12 o'clock. Well, what? 12 what? What time? Zone? Eastern. East, okay. Well, Eastern. By that time, I'll probably be in the office working on stuff. So I need something to listen to to keep that part of my brain occupied. So. Well, that will be uh, great. Oh, I don't have a wrench. Ha, 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 ha. You don't have a wrench. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you try to type something in the chat? Yeah, I did. Hold on. Hold Look, on. Just type something that doesn't have a link. <sighs> Oh, I'm going to be obstinate. Because <laughs> I don't see anything. Not in not in the StreamYard chat. I'm talking about on YouTube. Dummy. <laughs> yeah, you're putting it in the private chat? Oh, there he goes. Go to channel. Add moderator. All right. Tank Ferry is not a moderator. Sweet. I can post that link to comics. Talk with Pop Van Zant starting at noon Eastern tomorrow. Cromcon, uh, what is it? It's his Crom Crom 22, if I remember correctly. He's been running one a month. Uh, online comic convention. Uh, starting to get a few hundred people rolling through each weekend. All right. Yeah, starting to get some traffic over there. It's got kicks your favorite Kickstarters, Indiegogos. Uh, comics uh, he's expanding we're trying to get some some other folks like maybe people who run like games and stuff like that uh no i am just a mighty wrench kg yours is the mighty wrench um just, yeah it is it is mighty 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 but yeah no it's a lot of fun man you remember fun <laughs> I vaguely remember something that seemed fun at the time. That's right. what I do at work every day. Have fun. I see. You got to. You got to. But anywho, I have to bounce. I got to meet uh, with this client before I go do that and go get some particulars. Make sure that uh, I'm delivering their, I'm going to be delivering their product on brand. Because uh, I told people, I say, hey, when you're hiring me, uh, you're not just coming to get a picture. Like if you're. If you're a professional capacity, then uh, and you have a production that you're trying to make money off it, you're hiring me to make you money. So I, I might ask twenty to fifty questions 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to. Uh, uh, but I'm going to uh, to definitely ensure that I do my best to uh, to be your friendly neighborhood force multiplier. It's a new one that I've been coining. A new phrase I've been coining. I'm your friendly neighborhood force multiplier. I remember that when I'm getting ready for mine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But mine won't be a campaign. I already said that. I mean, yeah. many times. Well, at that point, you know, we will we'll talk about uh, since you're funding it yourself, uh, we'll talk about your marketing avenues and how to uh, get you a good, quick return on your investment. So I know you're you're funding it yourself. Um, Jimmy, so uh, do you mean you're you're not going to put it on Kickstarter or Indiegogo just as treating it like a store? That is correct. Okay. Number one, I don't want to deal with that mess. Okay. Um, number two, I'm going to pay for it. Number three, I wanted to release it only as a digital, but that might not be a possibility. So we might oh. be brainstorming. There, yeah, no, there's how many pages? I wanted to do, I wanted to do it as to, as a floppy. And okay. then if it, if it does track, then there's more to write. I mean, I can go forever with this. The trusty, trusty has a gist of what I want to do and he, and we can make it span from 1952 all the way to 2022 jumping times and having it uh, as as trusty called it um the mantle could be passed on generationally like the phantom i like that so it'll still be the way you can hear but it'll be a new generation i like that that's fun yeah you, you see like like the son picked up the grandson picked up you, you know what i'm saying and since it started in 1952, then we can jump to like 1990s, which would be when I was young, like in my 20s to 30s. I can go from the 90s all the way up to the 2000s. And I, like my son is 21 now. So in 2022, my son that's 21, he could pick up the mantle. But it's not my son, but I'm, I'm basing it since my grandfather is the main character that I'm basing, that I'm writing into the story. I'm just using my family as a timeline. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the way we were thinking about bridging it from 1952 to 2022 was by doing that. And then the way we want to bridge it all together on the first book is the guy is going to, we're going to have a guy narrating it's the story as it's happening. And that guy is actually narrating it as a past tense story. And he's in 2022, but he's talking about his grandfather or great grandfather in 1952 to a mystery audience. And nice. that's, then that's how we bring it in. And I think Trusty was on board with that idea. Oh, yeah. When I was reading it, I was like, OK, this is good. I'm interested. So that's that's what's going on. I don't know how many more, how much more I'm gonna write. Like I said, and I think my wife is about to text me. I'm talking too loud again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wake the baby. <laughs> yeah. No, I sure already woke up. Oh. <laughs> um. But yeah. So that's the way I got it. I got to think. But see, Trusty, you uh, Trusty read it, but Tank's been too busy to read. It. He hasn't read it, so he doesn't. Yeah. No, I haven't read it yet. I do apologize. You you've had a lot going on, Tank. Yeah, I, I've I've had a little bit here and there. Anyway, guys, I I could hang out all night, but I really do got to run. Hail Cross Go. Comics, Hail Sexy Rick. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, but anyway, yeah, man, Th those are my ideas. So for those of you that have heard my ideas, man, what do y'all think? Okay, G. <laughs> and whoever else was uh, sticking around. Paulo Romero is in the house. Can't forget about Paulo Romero art.
You can find me at Paolo Romero Instagram, at Twitter, Facebook, Facebook. Mm-hmm. Paolo's been killing it lately on uh, uh man, I was just about to say that. <laughs> Pablo bringing the sexy. Paolo's been killing it lately. I've been I've been almost got fired twice. <laughs> Looking Pablo, at his artwork. Looking Pablo at his artwork. almost brings the sexy. Oh, you you almost got fired having your having the Pablo artwork up? Yeah. <laughs> so not safe for work artwork. <laughs> but he puts it on Facebook and I'm scrolling through Facebook, right? And then this uh, naked lady pops up with her bush exposed to everybody. <laughs> like, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready. <laughs> My reflexes were not quick enough to shut that screen off. <laughs> so now, thanks to Paolo, I can't even look at Facebook at work. That's right. You got you to do it on your phone so you can like sort of shield it with your body. I can't. I, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I work in a place where I can't even have my phone. Oh, okay. I work in a cave. It's not really a cave, but you get the gist. Oh, you get the gist. But yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, Greg, if you want to get some smexy pictures, Paolo is the man. Paolo is the man. All right, chat. For those of you who were listening to my to my concept for the Boinkin ear, would you be interested in buying a book like that? I'm taking a quick survey. Let me know what y'all think of what, what you heard thus far. Well, I think too, if you're just going to go digital, you know, it would be something really affordable for. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to be affordable. Well, I had a friend, uh, a guy that I worked with once, and he sent me information about uh, a project that he was working on. He's a writer and he's working on with another artist, and it looked really good. Okay. But they were just doing PDFs, and it was going to be a graphic novel PDF format, but they were asking $50 for it. And I, I mean, I debated whether or not to say anything, you know, because I, I didn't want to be a downer, but I'm like, nobody's going to pay $50 for a PDF. No. If I'm going to do 50 bucks, you're going to get a book. And I'm, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Cause I'm just going to do a floppy. Now I believe I have enough material to do more than a floppy right now from what I've written. And it's just six pages, but it's got a lot in those six pages. But I wanted to break it up mm-hmm. because I'm paying for this on my out of my pocket, and I can't. I would like to start seeing some to see if it's worth continuing to you know to produce. Plus, I got another story that's in my brain that I'm that I want to start writing. And uh, that one is, uh, y'all remember the series Kung Fu with David Carradine? Sure. All right. So it's going to be similar to that. It's going to be similar to that. But the character, the main character is going to be Samson, like the Samson from the Bible. Um, and he's going to be displaced out of time. He's not going to be back in, in his time. He's going to be brought back to Earth at a dystopian future to fight off evil entities because humanity has lost its faith in God. But there was this one person that kept praying for a miracle. So God decided to send Samson because that was her favorite character in the Bible. Mm-hmm. It's it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. But I was thinking about like David carradine it, like Kung Fu, like traveling from town to town. You know what I mean? Man, yeah, I, you know, I don't remember specifics. I just remember that Kung Fu was like the coolest show on TV at the time. Yeah, well. <clears throat> so, so Kung Fu was basically David Carradine was a drifter. And he went from town to town 
He would get into some kung fu fights. He would talk Chinese philosophy, blah, 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 blah. blah. Mm -hmm. So every episode was like that. But I don't want to get into like that. I want to take like, like the premise of Samson and this girl traveling, you know, to this different towns in this dystopian future, um, fighting, fighting the evil that's spread over the earth. <laughs> 2005. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's the other character that I want to write. So I got I got things going and cooking in my brain. But I don't know if that's be should be the first one or the second one, but I want to do the body in Kenya first. Well, I just, I hope I can get to a point where I can spend some more time drawing because, you know, right now, like, uh, like four, four to five nights of the week, you know, are spent working or, or with other commitments. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that as, you know, time goes on, I may be able to free up some more of that time. Yeah, like I said, I'm not in a big rush. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> You've been on stream with me. You know how slow I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're what they call meticulous. Yeah, too meticulous. <laughs> You're what they call meticulous, sir. Yeah, this this commission that um, I picked up today is a digital one. So that'll be interesting. I haven't, I've only done a, well, I've done like three or four digital commissions. Most of them have been traditional. So that'll, that'll be interesting. It's not so bad. Paul said he got an idea for a short comic. Set in 5,000. They're all butt naked ladies. <laughs> fighting for the love of Pablo Romero art. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to get banned. <laughs> yeah, so we got those, those two stories. And I'm already... I haven't even finished writing what ink in here and I'm already getting ideas for the other one. I might as well just start opening um, a, uh, a whole thing and just writing those ideas down for when I'm ready for that one. I, I'm, I'm envious of you guys who have ideas. I've never been able to come up with a fully realized idea. I can come up with little snippets. I can come up with scenes, but that's about it. Well, I didn't know I could write till Josh told me to write my own crap and stop trying to find a writer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, just write it yourself, dude. So if this is a success, I'll credit to Josh. I'll take 50% of the uh, income. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be much of that, sir. I'll tell you, ever since I started doing Dungeons & Dragons for this past year, uh, writing has been a major part of that. So, I don't know. Uh, getting, a little, getting a little bolder with my own stuff. As, as you should, sir. As you should. Because I was going to hire a writer. I was just going to give him the idea and let a writer write. And uh, I was talking to Josh, and Josh was like, nope. You need to stop being lazy, gosh darn it. Well, he didn't say it quite like that, but he said it in Josh. Cuff. I might have if I was drinking, but I don't think I did. <laughs> he, said it, he said it in Josh Flair. Josh Flair. How does that go? <laughs> Damn, motherfucker. Stand up. Get it. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Maybe you guys talked about this before I jumped in, but Josh, how's your uh, how's your con season lining up? Uh, I've got one Comic-Con. It might be my last. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, cons are just, uh, they're getting too expensive. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, the con that I normally go to. Like my number one number one con uh, has risen their rates double to get in. Oh, good grief! So, you know, yay! You know, it's just another thing. So, 
Hey. We're trying to figure out if, if I'm going to continue doing this or not. Yeah, I'm just hoping that they, you know, finally have a Heroes Con again this year. It's been like three years since they had one almost. Yeah. <laughs> Papo says, if it fails, it's all Josh's fault. Wow. And then he has to pay you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, nah. If it fails, it's because I did a terrible job. I don't blame nobody. I take full responsibility. And if it fails, it, it won't be too bad because it'll be my first attempt at writing. I won't take it to heart. But I would have done something. I would have done something. What that is, I don't know. But something. No, All right, fellas. Um, I'm going to say goodnight. I got to get up early in the morning. All right, trusty. But it's been fun hanging out with you guys again. Yeah, it's been good to hear from you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, man. Let's do it again real soon. You know, I try to be on Fridays. Be good, trusty. Okay, guys. Good night. Speaking of which, hell, man. What time is it? Almost midnight. I think we're about to cut up close shop in a minute. Ah, time to close shop, huh? Almost. I don't want to get yelled at by my wife if I start talking too loud again. You're so funny, dude. My wife doesn't think so. I be trying to crack jokes. She don't appreciate them. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let me quit, let me quit. My wife is a beautiful, lovely lady who loves me very much, obviously, because she ain't divorced me yet. And, uh, yeah. She ain't divorced me yet. Mm. Oh, you know. The marriage is still young. The marriage is still young. You were, what, three years? Uh, five. Five. We lost two there so for a while, so... Oh, yeah, I was gone. Ooh. Later, trusty man. It's good to have you, brother. Appreciate you coming by. Man, it's always good to hear from trusty man. He's a good guy. I like him like a lot. like I, Twitter. Twitter for me is just cosplay chicks. I'm just like, oh look, they more of those. Okay, cool. And then that's about it. And then every now and then I'll get a message from trusty. I'm like, ooh. And that's like the highlight of my Twitter. He's a good guy, man. I like Trusty. I think, um, like, for the most part, the people that were on the digital bullpen, I think they're all good people. You know, like, I like Manny, KG, Pablo, you know. Um, all of them are good people, humble people, you know. Yeah. Sometimes a little misguided, but humble. Yeah, man, it's good stuff, though, man. Yeah, I made some leeway with this. So when now? I think I've, I've, I think I've made some leeway with this. Too. Yeah, you made a lot of headway. That shit looks pretty damn good. Yeah. So just trying to get the basic body in the pencils to figure out where I want them at. Okay, which one of them is is, is the Filipino? Uh, none of them. Oh. <laughs> none of them are your people? Uh, they're all white people. <laughs> uh, uh, but, you know, it's just, just an idea, you know, trying to get, um, trying to get, trying to do anything to get back in the drawing. You know, so huh. I, lo I love the show. I'm watching it like crazy. I'm in the D and D. So my wife was like, "Why don't you just make a limited poster for this and see if anyone likes it?" I'm like, oh, you know what? That's a good idea because then maybe I can get into 
doing some unique characters for people for D&D. So kind of branch out instead of doing my normal stuff, do some other stuff for people. I don't know, dude, but I don't know if it's my imagination, but it looks like you've improved. Uh, I don't know how, because I haven't really drawn very much. Maybe you just needed a break. I mean, yeah. I mean, the only things I've done, you know, I got the Pokemon picture, and then I got uh, open. Uh, Bob. Oh, shoot. Other than that. Oh, that's a good one. Hold on. Actually, I'll be interested to see what looks go. like on this. Yeah, I want to look at what it looks like on the stream because my wife, I've, I have a cover. Uh, how, how do I put it? A protective cover for my my uh, XP pin screen, mm -hmm. and it is it's not. It's fuzzy. It's fuzzy. It drives me up the wall because the last one I had was see through. And I ordered this one. I'm like, you know, I'm like, damn, something's off. Look, what is it? And like, everything's fuzzy. You have to look directly at it to see through it. If you're at an angle, it gets a little fuzzy. So I have a, a, a second monitor plugged in. So to see proper colors, I have to move it all the way over there and be like, okay, cool. But even then, this is an old, my second monitor is a Vizio 32 inch that I've had for like 10 years. So I'm not sure, you know, the colors are quite there with it. You know, it's graphically, it's not the best quality TV. So, you know, can I have to get a 4K monitor? Yeah, uh, no, I don't get the money for that. I don't, I don't do enough with the PC yet. If I was video gaming a lot with a PC, I'd think about it. But since I'm not, you know, I'm just, I guess I'm trying to get back into artwork, trying to find a reason to get back into artwork. Um, but I've had this pencil for a little bit, but it was the inking and the colors I got. I finally got done here, and then adding the background for like the pipe and stuff that wasn't originally in the picture. Yeah, that's that's dope. I remember that piece from last time. Yeah, I think I had it. I think I started inking it one time with you, and then time goes by, and I just never touched it again. And yeah. uh, then I redrew it again. Um, I mean, all digital, but yeah, so that's, that's the only things I've worked on is, is that digital. Now I've got some, some hand-drawn stuff I've done here and there, but, um, I don't know. I'm just, I, I definitely let the ball drop with artwork. So and this, this con's going to suffer, but <sighs> we'll see. We'll see I mean, if I can get enough to pay for the table next year, then I'll go again. As long as I can pay for the table next year, then I'm good. Well, if my book is a smash hit, I'll pay for your table. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get me to go to Comic Cons with you. <laughs> you know, I, it's a possibility that um, if this book takes off a little bit, that yeah, I would love to do some cons and sell some signed copies. Have Maybe like you and Trusty and some other people out there just selling and signing, drawing art, whatever. It would be pretty dope. <laughs> Pablo, you got jokes. No, I don't use my I don't use uh, my feet. Yeah, I don't use my feet. I'm sorry. Whenever I say hand drawn, it's uh, I'm just traditional. Like either traditional versus digital. So That's what I was trying to mean. Um, so this is the only digital one. So I've got some traditional. Um, that, uh, that I've done a few pieces here and there, uh, hopefully. And what sucks is because cons raise their price, I'm unfortunately going to have to raise my prices. And I hate, do I hate doing that. I hate doing that. But I don't have a choice. They've, 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 they forced my hand. And uh, yeah, inflation, inflation, that's how we inflation works. I know. I always got jokes. Pablo, I got to say, man, I do catch your artwork uh, almost every time I open up Instagram. And uh, I will say this, buddy. Uh, you have just in this past two years of 
not streaming, uh, seeing your artwork constantly, buddy, uh, has, has been amazing to see the progress of two years of hard work of how much you've changed with how your colors go, your line work. Uh, I've got nothing but nice things to say about your stuff, man. Um, I'm really, I'm really impressed by, by you being able to carry the torch, man, because I let it slip for the past two years. Uh, work I, got, you know, it was just, just life got in the way, man. I didn't have time for it. I was working at home and then I turn around trying to get my kid to do his homework. So it just, yeah. But, um, but anyway, enough, enough on that. So, but thanks for inviting me, buddy. And uh, I'm I I sorry. Uh, I have, I will admit, I have overextended myself. Um, but D and D stuff is running to Fridays too here and there. It's all good, man. Like, you know, it, like it, yeah. Uh, it's I, just, it's like I see your invite. I'm like, son of a bitch. <sighs> I'm neck deep in the game right now. Uh, I forgot it's Friday. <laughs> I don't get, I don't, you know, I don't get upset. About I know, that. I know, but like, dang, I told him I stream with him. So tonight. The game got canceled. I was like, "Oh!" And then the the invite came. I was like, "Yes, <laughs> yeah." It's like I'm going. I'm going to work on. It. Either way, I was going to work on it because I wasn't feeling up for the game tonight. So Oops. I really wanted to work on this stuff. So, but all right, man. It's midnight. Call it. I'm gonna call it. I just wanted to show everybody how what the progress has been. I really like it, man. The progress has been good. This is Jimmy Inks 101. Anyway. Wow. This has been a actual digital bullpen presentation with people with the actual digital bullpen showed up tonight and it's been freaking amazing. I loved every minute of it. I hope everybody has a great evening. God bless. Josh, anything else? Nothing. I'm done. God bless and good night. Good night.